Nothing is more busy and witty than the hound. Hounds have more wit than other beasts. And hounds know their own names. And love their people. Hounds are faithful and affectionate and fond of going before their people and fond of playing with their tail. Among their commendable traits, hounds will warn their people and their lovers of the approach of others. They defend the house of their people and put themselves willfully in peril of death for their people and run with their people. Hounds should go out to play when they like. It is great liking for hounds when they may go in and out at their lust. Hounds must adventure all the day, questing. And making great melody in their language. And saying great villainy. And chiding the beasts that they encounter. They will chase geese, cattle, or horses. Responsible they are for all the riot. In church, dogs and puppies oftentimes trouble the service by their barkings. And sometimes tear the church books. Hounds will learn, as does a person, all that you will teach them. Speak to them in the most beautiful and gracious language that you can. I speak to my hounds as I would to a person, and they understand me and do as I wish. But I do not think that anyone else can make them do as I do. Nor, peradventure, can anyone do so when I am absent. Hounds will not forsake their people. The greatest fault of hounds is that they don't live with us long enough.